It's the middle of October. These are my Habba bananas. And I kind of planted them late in the season and that's why they're taking forever to turn orange. I still have some yellow ones, but I am collecting them all because it's just getting too cold. They're not growing anymore. And bugs are starting, did you just see that moth? Bugs are starting to want to eat them. So I didn't get tons, but they are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? I should be able to can one jar. to keep the stems on them okay I'm gonna have to get my scissors because they're not wanting to come off and I want to keep the stems on them I want to pickle them with the stems um so yeah let me cut them down real quick all right not tons just a little bowl full but I brought out another bowl because I am going to harvest whatever is left because like I said it's October and right now it's October 17th so not much left and I'm gonna cut down the plants and put the pots away. So let's see what stragglers I can collect. All right, here's my end of year garden cleanup. So the Habba bananas, I know I'm pronouncing them wrong. They're cross between habaneros and banana peppers. And then this is just a little bit of everything. These are cayenne peppers, tomatoes, lemon spice jalapenos, regular jalapenos, orange, pumpkin spice, jalapenos, some more cayenne peppers, some shihitsu peppers, so whatever's left. And then this is dill seed. I should have harvested this dill seed two weeks ago. There's not much in there. A lot of it blew away. That's just laziness on my part. So probably only got like a tablespoon of dill seed. My bad. All right, so I did not completely cut down everything. This is catnip. I am gonna harvest and dry that one more time. And this is just like, I don't know the name off the top of my head. They're just like some kind of little spice peppers. It's more or ornamental. I don't know if I'm going to actually pick them. Wait, what's this? That's a cayenne pepper. I'm just going to leave that. So the rest I have cut down. I, and as you can see, there's still roots. I will actually pull the roots, shake off the excess dirt, and then cover the, the top of the dirt with leaves and just let it sit for the winter. I don't put them in the garage. I'm just leaving all these pots um, on my deck. So I could technically like leave the roots and volunteers would probably come back next year. Um, but I'm not looking to have volunteers come back because I will plant completely different stuff next year. Um, I try to do something a little different every year. Like this year I did a whole bunch of different peppers. Next year I'm probably just gonna do straight jalapenos because I didn't can any this year. I like to can them every other year. So I want like a huge crop of jalapenos next year. So we'll see, but I don't plant till April so I could totally change my mind by then. But I do know I don't really like volunteers. And then these are chives. Uh, I'm not harvesting, I'm not pulling those up because they still look good. I could still use them for cooking and yeah. So I won't record the long process of pulling the roots out and shaking the dirt, but this is my yard waste bin, everything cut down. And that's, that's it for gardening for six months. I do love gardening. I do miss it. I will miss it during winter. Um, and I'm in Missouri. I know people do winter crops. I don't know what people do for Missouri besides garlic, um, for pots. I'm not aware of any really good winter crops for pots. If you know any, comment down below. Otherwise, I just let the pots go dormant during winter. I got my water bath canner started. Um, this is probably only gonna make like four jars. I really should have went to Walmart and bought more jalapenos because I've mentioned before when I run my water bath canner, I like to have it full because it takes a, you know, a long time to get the water boiling and it's a lot of work, but I didn't run to Walmart. So we're just gonna do what we can. We'll see how many, I'm predicting four jars, we'll see. So I'm gonna do a jar of the Habba Bananas. Um, so these are all different types of jalapenos. So I'm gonna do a jar of these and then all the other random stuff, I'm just gonna cut into chunks 
and or maybe even leave them whole but you still I still cut the tips off and um yeah just like make a jar of random peppers so when my husband is feeling extra spicy he can just grab a random pepper and maybe maybe it'll be hot like a cayenne or maybe it won't be like a banana pepper so it'll be like a mystery jar (laughs) just because I don't want these to go to waste and we're not going to snack on them um so yeah I get all my other um, cayenne peppers I let them turn red and then I dried them into um pepper flakes um but I just don't I only have a couple and it's I just don't want to run my dehydrator for eight hours for just a couple of these so we're gonna pickle them and see what happens it's, it's kind of an experiment <laughs> In case you're wondering, all these were picked yesterday. These were picked a lot over the last couple of weeks. A couple of them are getting soft, but peppers, they can last a couple of weeks on the counter. Um, so they have been washed. I washed them yesterday. For the have bananas, I am going to pickle with the stem on. I'm just going to cut the tip off. So technically, you could pickle it whole like this. I'm sure if you've ever bought like pepperoncinis at the grocery store, you've seen them whole. Um, the only reason I cut the tip off, two reasons. I like to make sure there's no hidden hitchhiking insects inside. And two, I want to make sure the juice gets, the pickling juice gets inside too. Um, just my personal preference. So those are the two reasons why I will cut the tip off. And the rest of these, like I said, I'll probably cut in chunks. The jalapenos I'll cut in slices. These I'll probably just, maybe I'll pickle a hole again, but the tops will come off. My water bath canner is boiling. I've got all the veggies cut up. I got my eight jars sterilized. Don't think I'm gonna need eight jars. We're gonna put it in and see. I got some more gloves and I got my vinegar vinegar solution getting ready to boil. Okay, so when I do jalapenos or any type of pepper, I just do a white vinegar water solution. Um, Besides the salt and the pickle crisp, I don't add any other flavoring, I just like the pepper flavor to come through. So it's just a straight vinegar water brine. Yesterday I pickled all the odds and ends left over on my deck garden. So I got one jar of green jalapenos. They have they are sealed so I can remove these lids. See, sealed. And then I water bath canned them yesterday. You need to wait 24 hours before you mess with them and it's been 24 hours. Here's the orange have bananas, the yellow have an, or green have bananas, whatever color that is, the orange and yellow jalapenos, and I don't store with these lids on. Um, and then the what I'm going to call mystery peppers because it's all the peppers, odds and ends. So if I were to give these as gifts, I would absolutely include these so people could resell them in the fridge. But when you're storing them on the shelf, got cut off again. Anyway, if you're keeping these and storing them, you can first off reuse these and you don't wanna leave them on when you're storing them because these can become unsealed. It's pretty rare, but some, sometimes they'll become unsealed and you won't know with this on it because this creates a false seal. So. It's rare, but it happens. Like out of like, out of the 300 jars I have downstairs, I've had one pop up, and you just empty the contents and keep the jar. <laughs> Never throw glass jars away like this. They are reusable. <laughs>